Hello guys and welcome back. La Palma Volcano Updates The eruption continues along a very slowly decreasing path. Activity today has been more or less as yesterday, but a bit weaker at the events. Only sporadic explosive activity occurred. <clears throat> Occasionally, producing ash plumes that rose a few hundred meters. Volcanic tremor remains low at similar amplitude as in the past days, but with less and less fluctuations. Lava continues to effuse into the tube system beginning at or near the cone, and is mainly feeding the same flow as in the past days, which emerges onto the surface in the central part and branches off mainly towards the southwest. No significant enlargement of the lava flow field has occurred in the past days. Other parameters also show a decreasing trend at the moment, including gas emissions, ground deformation, and seismic activity. The National Geographic Institute IGN, reported 32 earthquakes during its latest 24-hour reporting interval. The strongest one was a magnitude 3.6 event at a depth of 37 kilometers. The eruption continues more or less in the same way as yesterday. Intermittent thrombolian type explosions and sometimes stronger ash emissions occur at the main vents of the cone. Ash plumes have reached altitude around 3,700 meters and drifted towards southerly and southeasterly directions. Lava efficiency remains stable concentrated from vents near or beneath the cone, where they enter tubes to break out as surface flow further down slope. Mainly in the central part of the flow field, where lava flows continue to initially travel through a narrow and a widening channel before spreading into various arms. One of them is now covering the lava flows that had erupted from the fissure vents west of Montana Corgote. The latter have practically ceased to be active. Active lava flows have continued to descend the steep cliff onto the coastal flat of Las Hoyas, but without reaching the sea itself. Thick smoke was rising from burning plantations in the area this morning. An increase in sulfur dioxide, SO2 emissions, was reported today. Earthquakes have picked up a bit as well, especially in the deeper layer of 30 to 40 km depth. During the past 24 hours, there were 13 quakes of magnitude 3.0 to 3.6 and 27 quakes between 2.0 and 2.9. Volcanic tremor remains low at similar values as yesterday. No significant deformation has been recorded. And that was what was reported by the IGN as of today. Okay? We can see that there is now a decrease and there is hope for the people of La Palma. And whatever you have to say concerning this, you drop your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.